This is Under the Mayo. Welcome to Tarkatan Math, Understanding Baraka's Damage Output. This video will specifically be talking about Marauder Baraka using his Back Forward 4 Gutted Special. Using a bar on Gutted is where we get most of our damage, but how much damage are we actually getting? Well, after a few long nights of meticulous measurements, here are the two main points I found. Using one bar raises damage from 10 to 15.5% mid screen and 10 to 21% in the corner, depending on the combo. And ending combos with the gutted crushing blow on average raises combo damage by about 11.5% after the 100 points of bleed damage. So the obvious lesson is that if you want damage, use the meter. If you want 11.5% more, end with gutted crushing blow. But the corner is where things get kind of interesting. Baraka has a few ways of achieving meterless combos that end in a crushing blow. And here's an example. After the bleed damage, that's 44% meterless. So is this a good combo to do? Not really. Look at the same starter using meter. You're getting virtually the same damage, just 0.5% less, for using the meter and saving the crushing blow for a better opportunity. Therefore, use the bar if you have the resources to spare, or if they're low on health and the bleed damage doesn't apply. Or use this meterless crushing blow if you need the damage and you can't afford to use the meter. Here are some other meterless crushing blow combos compared to their 1 meter counterparts. All of these combos achieve basically the same damage if you would just use the meter. But if you want to use the crushing blow after using the meter, by all means, go for it. See how a down 2 crushing blow into 1 bar combo that ends in gutted crushing blow hits 60%. So the basic message here is, you have access to a meterless gutted crushing blow combo, but it's really only there for when you can't use the meter. Now I want to talk a little about the flawless block. Uh, I think flawless block is going to be huge in this game once people get it down, and Baraka will benefit greatly from it. His up 2 block punish leads to an easy 34% for one bar. In the corner it's 37%. With Crushing Blow, it's 48.5%. So yeah, work on your block punishes, basically. Uh, lastly, Fatal Blow combos. Here are the damage comparisons. Mid-screen, meterless Fatal Blow combos do 1-2% to more than 1 bar combos and they do 9-10% to less than 1 bar gutted crushing blow combos. 1 bar fatal blow combos and 1 bar gutted crushing blow combos do virtually identical damage. In the corner, meterless fatal blow combos do 4-5% to less than 1 bar corner combos. And meterless and 1 bar combos do virtually identical damage when you end with fatal blow or the gutted crushing blow. That one can sound kind of confusing, so basically what I'm saying is that in the corner, your fatal blow combos and your gutted crushing blow combos do the same damage, the meterless versions and the one bar versions. Where this changes a bit is with combos that start with crushing blows, like down 2 or 1-1-2 as a punish. 
While the one bar versions still maintain very similar damage, the biggest difference is in the meterless versions. You see here that the fatal blow combo does significantly more damage than the gutted crushing blow, 10%. So I guess my message is study these formulas and uh, make sure that you know how you're going to end your combo to get the most damage uh, depending on how the combo started because as you see here, uh, sometimes the differences are very big and sometimes they're there are almost no differences at all, and maybe you shouldn't use uh, a crushing blow or a fatal blow when previously you thought you should. Alright, that's all I got for now, and I'll see you next time.